the Premier Soccer League moves on to match day two and interesting duels are set for the weekend with perhaps the battle of the platinum sides at the peak of the round in a match penciled for Saturday at Ngezi's Baobab Stadium. It's expected to be a humdinger. For 90 minutes, FC Platinum's Nomen Mapeza and Ngezi's Tekshio Chiragui will forget their new appointments to the national team as they look to set their 2024 campaign strong on track when Ngezi FC host FC Platinum. Ngezi kicked off their season with a nil-all draw against new boys Arnel Movers, whilst the former champions FC Platinum began on a winning note, peeping another newly promoted side, the Chegutu Pirates, by one goal to nil. Having dropped the points against newcomers Arnel, they can't afford to drop any further points, more so against a platinum side expected to pose a serious threat to Ngezi's championship aspirations. Sometimes we really need to uh, also give credit to the opponents after they did very well and uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are very happy with that point rather than to lose the game. In another Saturday match with fans still hungry for football, they should be next to Seva at Luveva Stadium, where it's a choice between confectionery or fast foods when Arenella take on chicken in, in an appetizing derby dubbed the sugar and spice. After their gallant performance against Gezi FC, where they held the champions to a nil all stalemate in only their first Premier League match, opinions have changed and so many neutrals believe Arenella have what it takes to stand their ground against the big boys of the league. Arenella come up against former champions at Chicken Inn who are buoyed by their opening 1-0 win over Caps away at the Butter Stadium. It was a game against Caps United. This is a game against Arenel. And Arenel is not a game against Ngez Platinum. It's a game against Chicken Inn. It's a different ball game altogether. The fast food outlet will want to carry on from where they left off last weekend with a win over their neighbors that are coached by their former assistant Farai Tawachera. Chicken in are best warned not to treat the sweet and biscuit makers lightly. The outcome could be nasty. It's not going to be easy because uh, Arnel is a team that just came up from, the, from Division 1 and uh, they would also like to prove the point. But football being football, we just have to go out there and uh, grind out uh, a result, a positive result. When we talk about a positive result, we're talking about winning the game. Across town at Papa Fields at the same Saturday, Dynamos return to pick themselves up against Wange following their 1-0 loss to Highlanders and they know it's high time they got their act together and started turning things around. Wange began their campaign with a narrow 1-0 win over Yada where all eyes were on poster boy Kama Billiard. Wange were unfazed and were as good as done after 17 minutes when a former platinum right back Kifti Mkweti hit the only goal of the match. Wange now come up against a Dynamo side still searching for their first win after consecutive cup and league defeats are to Ngezi and Highlanders. Coach Genesis Mangombe, whilst concerned about their run of results, is however pleased with performance. We are now looking for the next assignment and uh, this one is what under the bridge and it's a learning curve uh, trying to introduce new players and everyone. Uh, the good thing is that uh, we are not playing bad, we are, we are playing very well uh, save for those, for those silly goals. In Gweru at the Butter Stadium, the Wi-Fi boys tell one who blew a two-goal lead to settle for a draw away to ZPC Kariba in their season opener, take on a wounded Manika Diamonds, runners-up in last season's campaign. Manika Diamonds played all their matches away from home last season, and you would have thought playing at their home base would bring better fortunes only for the Diamond Miners to lose before their own backyard against Simbabora. Perhaps they play better on the road, and their away fixture in Gweru may shed more light. Students' herendals finally get going at Nyamunga Stadium, also on Saturday when they take on Caps United, who made a slow start to the season with their 1-0 loss to Chicken Inn. Herendals have replaced a long-time coach Kumbirai Mutiwekuziva with Paul Benza, who gets his first assignment against a Caps United side, itching to make up for their loss last weekend. It's a Harare derby in Kariba, Caps Lloyd Chitembwe will seek to outwit his herendals counterpart, and just like the RNL Chicken Inn derby, it has the potential of fireworks. Should both coaches allow for an open game, then fans at Nyamunga are in for a treat. The final fixture on Saturday pits around one's biggest scorers, Simbabora, against Greenfield, well, who also kicked off their campaign with a win over Bulawayo Chiefs. Tondera Indiraya Simbabora, a hugely different side after an overhaul of last season's squad, will be looking to convince that their first day victory over league runners up, Manika Diamonds, was no flattery. Perhaps rightfully so when you look at the talent in players like Walter Sona, Junior Makunike, who scored a brace on his debut for Simbabora. Bora, Malvin Mkolo and Billy Veremo amongst plenty that they have added to their squad. As such, a Greenfield coach Rodwell Dakama's astute management of the game has to come to the fore if he expects to go one better than his counterpart, to whom he lost by three goals to Nila last season. 
Lakama atoned for that with a 1 0 win in the return fixture, and now the two teams lock horns when they top the lock standings after one round of games are thanks to goal difference. We move on to Sunday, where yet another derby is on the cards in Bulawayo, when Highlanders are still basking in the glory of their 2 1 win over Dynamos, take on Bulawayo Chiefs, who fell by the same scoreline away to Green Fuel in the opening round. We're a different team from, from Dynamos. Highlanders and Dynamos have got their own history. We and Highlanders have got our own history. So we will stick to our history, not what Dynamo does with Highlanders. Don't read much up between the results of the two teams' first round of matches. Highlanders' Chiefs' games are self-motivating to the players and it's up to the grouper that want it more who are likely to come out smiling. It's not going to be an easy game. Uh, we know how our opponents play. We played them, I think, in the preseason friendly game. Uh, they are good. They are also tactically organized and we just hope to see a, a beautiful game on, on Sunday. The final match of the Castle Lager Premier Soccer League round two fixtures is a date between newcomers Chegutu Pirates and ZPC Kariba. Pirates have a fanatical following that rallied behind them all the way to the Premier League but they got a baptism of fire away at Mandava on their first game where they were handed a 1-0 loss by former champions FC Platinum. On Sunday, Chegutu host ZPC Kariba who fought from two goals down to snatch a point versus Tel 1 at Nyamunga. The matchup between Eastern Region qualifiers and Yada has been postponed thereby delaying fans another opportunity to watch Yada's biggest signing ever come a billiard. He did feature in the loss to Wange, albeit for just above 10 minutes and more is expected of Caucho, who at his most prominent was the continent's second best player. Very soon he must find his place on the domestic soccer scene and fans await eagerly for his appearance.